Well, howdy, y'all. We, what we've got here is a little tree, and I'm pretty excited for this particular firearm. This is a Model 67. This is a very difficult gun to get a, a date range on, but this is probably around a 1937 model. Now, one of the ways that you know that is part of it first, it, you know it's a little bit of an older, earlier model because it still says 22 short, long and long rifle. There's uh, no abbreviations right there. None of these firearms were, were ever serial numbered. And so they started making these in 1934, made them all the way to 1963. And since the Gun Control Act of 68 hadn't happened yet, they didn't have to serialize every single firearm they had. So it makes it kind of difficult to age. In 1937, they started making this screw so it sat recessed into the stock instead of on the outside with a little knurled knob right there. Now the competition was fierce when this thing was made. This was made during the depression and there was a, a market for youth rifles out there, 22s. But one of the problems was, was that Winchester was having a hard time being able to, they were selling some, but they just couldn't really take the market share they wanted to of the youth 22 market. And so they were having a hard time bringing their costs down. And this, this one was very successful at doing that. When they came out with this one, the Model 67, that was kind of the answer and that really helped them out. They modernized a John Browning design, the 1900, I think was the first one, and then they had the 1904. Wait one second. So right here, we have much the same, really the same, same style of firearm, but this is, is quite a bit older. This one's from the late teens, but I believe it continued production into the 30s, if I remember correctly, which I don't always, so, so don't take, don't just take my word for it, but what you can see is a lot of similarities where the receiver, everything, everything's just one solid piece of milled steel. That barrel houses everything. I think that's uh, simply outstanding in its simplicity. But both of them, after you after you load, they don't. It does not auto cock when you're pushing the bolt forward. You've got to actually pull this pin out, like so, and and then you're ready to fire. Now, right there, as you can see, it's got a much smaller knob on there, and and there's no dilly whopper right here. They've got this little pressed steel flange right here that allows for uh, a safety to be applied and then all of a sudden firing pins not going to go forward because you have this uh, physical blockage right there you want to flip that off don't flip things off right it's rude but you want to flip that off and now when you pull the trigger it allows that firing pin to go forward you can see a commonality in these two they both have a pin coming through the stock that is the pivot that the trigger pivots on. But, so you have the evolution of these two firearms. So like I said, the earlier models of the 1967 had a knob much like this so that they could uh, easily take down this rifle. But who really takes down that rifle that way all the time? I mean, maybe clowns. I don't know. A cool part about this is you do get the Winchester butt stock right there, a little plastique. I believe you end up with a 27 inch barrel on this. As you can see, this has been painted so you can better see those sights. I haven't had a chance to test that out and see how well that works, but hey, teach their own, right? Right? Yeah. See, she agrees. So another way we know that this is an older version of this firearm, at least that it's pre-war, is because we've got a chrome plated bolt right here. I do like that they bent the bolt handle right there down so it's not just uh, sticking straight out and straight up. So it makes it a little bit easier to operate. So on this little blue guy right here, we're gonna, you're just gonna load that in. Then you're gonna ride that bolt forward. And now you're ready to fire. Well, almost, <laughs> you gotta cock it, right? Flip it on to safety, flip it off, you're ready to go. 
the cool part here, we've got the, the proof marks on the bolt and on the barrel. Like I said, these, there are no serial numbers. It's very hard to date when these are. Now I can't remember if what they started doing in 1938, I believe in 38 is when the Model 67 Alpha came out. Not all the Model 67s with these changes were labeled with the Alpha. So it's not super consistent. From the research that I've been able to do, I'd really lean towards this being the late 30s and most likely 37, but it definitely is pre-war. I can't wait to take this out and, and, and really see how she does. So if you got one of these and you've got a blued bolt on it, you're gonna be post-war on that. I don't think they made them from 42 to 45. Uh, there's some, some other things you can tell. From my understanding, the best made ones were out of the 50s. Now, if you look right here, you, you can see the milling marks as they, they milled out the back of this barrel for the bolt. But I don't know if it's because they're stinking old or, or what, but they're actually, they're not too rough. Okay. They got to remember, they were trying to bring this down to a price point. This would have sold for like 550 or something like that. Six bucks. It wasn't a whole lot. And then if you wanted to get the one with the peep side on it, then, then you're looking at like seven bucks, six, six and a half, seven bucks. All right. This, this trigger has its own spring, but this is just a little lever. It pulls down. So once you've got the bolt closed with the bolt in there, you're gonna pull the firing pin back, you're gonna cock it, you're gonna pull on that trigger, it's gonna release the sear, release the firing pin. That firing pin has some awesome machining on it. A little knurled end on the back. You got these serrations making a circular shape. It's pretty, pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Coming over that little bump and popping it back, that's what really helps to eject that spent case. This little lever right here, we'll do that one more time. Hopefully you can see that. Close the bolt, put this down, slide that back. And tighten that down. Did you know that these slots were made so that you could uh, use a penny? Uh-uh. Yeah, they're just the perfect width for a penny. Because they figured you had, you'd probably had a penny on your, in your pocket, just like you had. But you're probably not gonna have a screwdriver the other nice part is, is that's softer than the steel, so you're not going to damage the screw. Have yourself a Winchester Model 67, and that is a thing of beauty. Some of you may recognize this as firearm, so if you do, leave a comment below if you know what this one is. These are those little 22 extra shorts, right? Yes. Pull back till it clicks. Oh. Yep. Boom, bang, pow, right? Uh-huh. Get one of those little shorties back in there. This time, you know, hit where you're aiming, okay? Hey, all right. Nice. You think it stopped it? Yeah. 